welcome back to my channel. Today I have another recipe for you. I'm going to make a corn bake that we really love around our house, at the holidays especially. I love it, my kids love it, it's very good. If you like corn and you like it creamy, you're gonna love this recipe. We eat it almost every year for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Whenever I'm in charge of the menu at these holidays, this one shows up. So let me show you what we do. To start out with, I am preheating the oven to 350. This corn bake takes about 40 to 45 minutes to bake. So you should know that ahead of time. In full disclosure, I think I got this recipe out of a craft magazine years ago, but it's really good. I'm doubling it, but in the description box, I'll write the recipe, the single recipe waste, which would be in a nine by nine. Yeah, a nine by nine. So I'm gonna make it in a nine by 13. I'm gonna start out with two cups of Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is like a sweeter version of mayonnaise. Judah is adding four tablespoons of white flour and four tablespoons of white sugar oh, yeah. to the Miracle Whip, and I am separating, <laughs> did you just spill a little? And I am separating some eggs and adding just the egg yolks, six eggs, six egg yolks, saving the egg whites. Finally, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of black pepper to that mixture and set our egg whites aside. That's half a tablespoon. <gasps> oh! Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Okay, start pulling it out. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. If you accidentally add half a tablespoon of black pepper. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be some spicy kind of corn bake there. Ooh. Okay guys, don't add half a tablespoon. Make sure it's just half a teaspoon. <laughs> We're gonna add some sugar back in there. I think I took up a whole tablespoon of sugar. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and transfer that to that bowl because I'm out of space to add my corn and cheese. All right, next it calls for um, two 10 ounce bags of frozen corn. I am using 12 ounce bags and I'm doubling it. So I'm gonna use almost four, probably three and a half and dump those in the big bowl. Next would be two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm gonna use this Mexican four cheese blend because that's what I buy a lot of. Next I'm gonna throw in half a cup of chopped green onions. These were in my outside fridge and it must be a little too cold because they were slightly frozen. I love chopping green onions with scissors. It makes it go so much faster. And I'm gonna combine all this. Here's what it looks like combined. Okay, so you want it to be forming stiff peaks, which I think it is. <laughs> then we are going to fold this mixture into that. So now the difference between stirring it in and folding it in is that instead of just stirring it up like, like this, <laughs> we're gonna fold it over the eggs and over the eggs. So I'll try to show you. The key is not to overmix the egg whites, but to also get them in well. Now we're just gonna put that in a greased nine by 13. Okay, here it is, and I'm gonna throw this in the oven for 40 minutes. Okay, just pulled it out of the oven, it's looking good. It took a lot longer, it took more like an hour, probably because I doubled it. The knife has to come out clean out of the middle. 
It smells good. These guys are ready to eat it, right? Yeah. And this is after we have dug into it. It is so good. Guys, thanks for watching today. If you try this recipe, let me know. I will leave, like I said, I'll leave the instructions in the description box and I will leave them for the single amount. Uh, that's just a nine by nine pan, which actually should only take 40 to 45 minutes to bake. Thank you guys and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.